Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and we're back with another RPG Maker MV tutorial. This one's going to be the second part of the action sequences tutorial series. So uh, I had a question. It'll also be somewhat of a special request tutorial. This one is from Daniel Vutran. He says, amazing, I can't wait for the battle sequences tutorial too. having trouble with changing my battle speed because at the moment it seems like it's running in fast forward. And also my characters can't do pauses during their movement sequences. Imagine going from front head, wait three seconds to back base, wait three seconds, and then back to starting point and home. He just goes immediately from front head to back base and there's no waiting. Um, so here's how you fix that. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to add wait for animation and wait for movement commands. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, a few of the skills I've made. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the camera to zoom in. So um, before I show you all the code, I just want to show you the animation. You're probably curious to see what we're going to make before you go through the trouble of making it. All right, so this is Gok Gokasai Sorasu, and I don't think that means anything in uh, Japanese, I know Soraisu sur means uh, slice, and Go is five, and Kasai means fire, so I'm trying to make like a five-fold fire attack, and then I'm pretty sure that's not the right spelling, but uh, we're just gonna go with it. And uh, we're gonna use our action sequence, and it'll look like that. So I'm thinking that's kind of what you want, but maybe three attacks. I'll show you that one more time. And what's cool is if you combine uh, action sequences with uh, the fast forward scripting, you can make it go like this. And all I was really doing is holding down the action button, in this case, enter. But yeah, um, let me show you how to make that. It's a little bit long, but you can do some copy pasting. So create your skill, award it however you want, give it an icon, a name, and all that damage description or formula and and in all this stuff I'm sure you can figure out and in my case I have a common event and remember it won't call a common event or uh, it, if you're using action sequences but we're going to use this at the bottom to to call for that at, uh, that common event um, so starting at the top <clears throat> we have to do a setup action so in brackets you're going to type setup action and you can pause this video at any time to make sure if I'm going too fast you can just pause it and copy that then we're going to display action that's going to show the the name of the skill in the top then we're going to set the targets to immortal true so they don't die halfway through and then I'm just swinging at air uh, then we're going to close setup action because that's all we need and then all we're going to need is two more but we're going to do the target action so we're going to move the user to the target and if in the front position uh, and this, we're going to do that in 10 frames, so it's going to move pretty quickly. And then we're going to wait for movement. This is important, otherwise he'll just move on and he'll do fast forward motion. Probably the, what uh, an error you're encounter, encountering is probably because of this or wait for animation. So right here you're going to do wait for movement. Um, you don't need this empty space. Then we're, This is how you operate the camera. You just type zoom, colon, space by how much you want to zoom in by, this is a 50% zoom. If you do 50% and not 150, the camera is actually going to zoom out, so um, which is kind of cool too, has a different effect. But uh, if you have clamping on, then uh, this will stay within the, the the camera's view, so that it won't go off the screen and see blackness. Uh, then this number is telling you how uh, how many frames it's going to last, but it's also going to keep it zoomed for all of the animations. So this number you can mess around with, but it won't change too much. Uh, then you're going to do camera screen, target, front and center, 15 frames. Camera focus, target, front and center, 15 frames. And you can change these to uh, edit your skills, but this will be your template to modify. Then you're also going to wait for movement. Um, I'm not sure you need this right here. Uh, I'm going to leave it in for right now, but I'm also going to edit because we have a wait for movement here. So we may not, may not need wait for movement right here because there's no movement. There's just camera right here. So instead of wait for movement, you might want to go wait for camera. That might work too. And I'll test that out. We might as well just test it out right now, camera. Uh, moving on down, perform action. Uh, that's going to start it, so you step forward. Uh, motion action user, that's going to show uh, your attack, whatever weapon you're using, depending on uh, the SV animation. It'll display that. Then uh, action animation. 
that's going to show the animation that we've specified here, uh, then this is what uh, might be causing an issue too. If you don't do wait for animation, it'll skip right past it pretty much. It'll play it, but it'll be so fast that you won't even notice it, especially if, if you have multiple uh, action animations. And we, uh, Then we're going to have a death break because we're issuing damage, and if they have counterattack, they could kill you right here. So uh, you could be dead and still the action will continue even though you would normally be dead. So we death break anytime we do an action effect. Then we're going to move targets. This is having um, our, our user, uh, or not move targets, we're going to move user. That's going to move your attacker, your character, to this location. We're saying we want him to move at the targets in the back center right behind him. And it's going to do that in three frames. So we're going to like go super fast, like really quick attack behind him. Then we're also going to include wait for movement. If you don't do wait for movement, he's going to go lightning fast. And I'm going to take these out at the end of the video to show you what it looks like because some people might actually want that effect. So then we're having face user home. Home is where they're attacking from. So we're basically having him flip his sprite around to look the other way. Then we're motion attack user. So he's swinging the sword again. In my case, it's a sword, but whatever SV animation you have, that'll be uh, displaying right there. Then we're going to show action animation. So he's going to swing the sword. It's going to show a graphic of swinging. It's or this this one right here, uh, animation that you specified. We're also waiting for animation here. Then we're going to do action effect target. That's going to do the damage. It's going to issue the the formula right there. Then we're death break because if he counterattacks or magic reflects, you might die here. So you want a death break anytime you issue damage. Um, move user. Now we're moving again for the third attack. Uh, we're going to move towards the target front head so it'll be the top right side and that's going to take three frames but we're also waiting for those three frames to go then we're also going to be facing the, the have the the attacker face the target so we're switching back from facing uh, that way to facing that way I point my finger like you can see that uh, wait for animation uh, act after the action animation so it doesn't just split super fast uh, then we're going to do action effect target death break now you're gonna notice a lot of the same things so what you could actually do is go from underneath right after the death break copy that all the way down to this next death break or even copy one of the death breaks like that and you can basically copy that and then paste that underneath right there and then um, all you would do is change the move user and the the face user that's what I did to save some time so you can use the copy paste so that this isn't so long or takes so much time. Uh, then we're going to move users, targets, back head this time three for this uh, this is this skill. This will be changed by you depending on how you want your skill. Then we're waiting for movement because we're doing a move. Uh, then we're going to face users and then we're going to motion attack user and we're going so that's going to swing his sword or show his SV animation. Then we're going to um, action animation, wait for animation so it doesn't just lightning fast through it action effect we're issuing the damage formula and then we're death breaking because of counterattack and basically copy pasting this one more time but I'll go through it just so if you don't want to copy paste move user target back base three frames wait for movement face user home motion attack user action animation wait for animation action effect target that's issuing the damage death break after issuing damage then we're gonna close off the target animation because or target action because we're done with that now for finishing action, we made him immortal at the beginning of this. So if we don't do this line, <coughs> excuse me, if we don't do this line, then he's going to still be alive, even no matter how much damage we did. So we turn off immortal. Then we're going to clear the battle log. That's going to make the uh, the name Gokasai Suraisu. Turn off, and then perform finish. It's going to move us back into place here. We're going to wait for movement because we're finishing our perform uh, our performance. Then I'm actually calling on a common event. You won't need this if you don't have a common event in your effects. Then we're going to close off finish action, and that's basically it. Make sure you have the right plugins installed. You will need the Yanfly Engine, Battle Engine Core, Action Sequence 1, 2, and 3 for the camera. If you don't have 3, the camera won't work. Uh, and if you don't have 2, most of this won't work. So basically get all four of these, but you will also need the core engine. So get Yamfly core engine, put that at the top, battle engine underneath that, and then the action sequences underneath that, the engine, uh, battle engine. You have to do it in this order, otherwise the, they'll be referencing variables and you'll have um, errors and you'll be crashing. So that's basically it. I'm going to show you the skill one more time and maybe show you a couple of my other skills. We did change one thing, so it might act different now. We, we changed wait for movement into wait for camera. So let's see if that adjusts anything. 
I noticed a split second of delay there waiting for camera. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Let's uh, let's go through that one more time. That could be lag. That could be computer lag. It was probably computer lag loading the sprites for the first time. Now let's watch this and, and uh, if I'm holding down fast forward. Boom, 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 boom. Now that's fluid. I like that sort of uh, that sort of animation. That's pretty cool. Here's uh, another skill that I made. Touch uh, and pay. Uh, try cut one I made that one's pretty simple it's like so fast that uh, all three attacks go at one time and that was dark cut so yeah um, one more time on that uh, I want to show you guys what will happen if you get rid of the wait for animations so let's show I'm gonna show you that really quickly here if I were to go through here <clears throat> we can get rid of that and uh, where's wait for animation here's the first wait for animation so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a blank space to let to remind myself where wait for animation is. I'm going to cut that. So now we got rid of wait for animation and we're going to go down to the next one, wait for animation. Go down to the next one, wait for animation. Now this might be a desired effect for some. But uh, I think it runs too fast. And you might actually want to keep one of the wait for animations we'll put the last one in but it was displaying five animations now it's displaying just one so let's see how it looks without the wait for animations and I think Daniel Vutran uh, this is probably what was happening with you so just forgot to put the wait for animation in so then boom 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 now that's pretty cool and that might be your desired effect if it is all you have to do is get rid of the wait for animation and maybe put one wait for animation in there I actually kind of like that. That's kind of cool. But uh, I do like, since I have the fast forward script, let me show you that really quickly. Um, I have another, it's in another one of my videos. You can find it. Um, but I'll show you to you one more time. It's uh, SSEP Battle Speed Up. I'm sure if you Google that, you'll find it. Really cool. It's by Sochiro Sakamoto. And uh, it, all, it basically all it does is allow a turbo mode when you hold down the enter button or the action button. So I'm going to go back and re-edit that uh, to put in the wait for animations because I personally uh, like having it a little bit slower since I can fast forward it with just the enter button. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being awesome. I really appreciate every one of you guys. Keep asking your questions in the comments and I'll keep making videos for you guys. As simple as that. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.